Good evening. Welcome to Glimpses of Grace and Glory. I'm back here behind, uh, at the very back edge of our property. Uh, this is a garage over here on my left, and this is the back of our barnyard. And we have a storage area back here that is extremely narrow. Now, the word in the Bible is straight, S-T-R-A-I-T. It's not straight, S-T-R-A-I-G-H-T, like a straight line. Straight is like the Strait of Gibraltar over at the opening to the Mediterranean Sea. It means really narrow and squeezed in, so it's hard to get through. Well, this is a really tight area, and it's hard to see some weeds have grown up. But we have scaffolding here, we have some poles, and we kind of store a lot of the metal poles and things, uh, our cemetery poles, which are still at the cemetery, go back here. But it's very straight and very narrow. As you will see, when I try to walk back here, it is really shoulder to shoulder. And it's a very hard passage to get through if you're carrying things. Well, Jesus said that in, in uh, Matthew chapter 7, 13 and 14, that straight is the way and narrow is the gate that leads to life eternal. And few there be that find it, but broad is the way that leads to destruction. Here's the problem. You'll hear people say, I don't agree with Jesus being the only way. Now, and Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. You know I've had people argue that. I've had people literally leave my congregation because they said, I cannot accept that teaching that it's only through Jesus that you can be saved. I know good people who are, they're very good living people and they don't know Jesus and they don't believe in Jesus, but are you telling me they're not going to get to the kingdom of God? Well, absolutely, that's not my words. There's only one God. His name is Jesus. And if you reject Jesus, you don't go. And to say that people are good, the Bible says we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one, that we are desperately wicked. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So Jesus said when the rich young ruler came and said, Good master, he said, Why do you call me good? Master. There's none good but one that is God. So if I'm good, that means I'm God. So in other words, there are no people that are good. Only God is good. And when God, the Son, comes into your life, then you become good because His righteousness is your righteousness. And then you are saved. But you cannot, you cannot be saved any other way. No religion. Religion is man's works reaching up to God. You can never reach high. Salvation is God coming down to man, a personal relationship. If you will allow Jesus to come in, you'll be saved eternally. If you don't, it doesn't matter how many good deeds you do, how much you try to please God or try to elevate yourself morally, or what religion you go through, or what saint or what man you go through. There's only one God. His name is Jesus. And as Jesus said, Jesus, who is God the Son, no man comes unto the Father but by me. So may God help us to see this, that it's only through Jesus Christ that we are saved.